Hey y'all, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's your girl True and I am back with another one. So I just kind of want to talk a little bit about the download um, I have was I've been receiving, okay? Um, so basically, I'm gonna let you guys know a little bit, try to make this as as quick and concise as possible. Um so um i was asked i've been asking you know been praying to god been praying to the universe praying to spirit just for signs let me know you know what am i doing what do i need to be doing and so forth so anywho i have this one um young lady and she does bible verses on my youtube um and she just popped up out of the blue um and she was reading different scriptures out of the bible um, and then she'll read a piece of the scripture. Um, and then after reading, you know, like a few lines, she will then go into detail explaining the scripture. Um, well, when she was reading the scripture and then her explanation of what she provided from the scripture, um, she kind of went and took it and had it go way far elsewhere. Um, I wish I would have written the scripture down for this live so you guys can go back and read the scripture. But there's a scripture in the Bible where it talks about, y'all don't, don't, don't be laughing at me, okay? Because I do not remember names. I do not remember Bible verses um, due to, you know, I was in a bad mold um, apartment, which really messed up my, my memory and, and things really, really bad. Um, so I don't remember a lot from, you know, Bible study and, and a lot that we learned. Um, but here nor there, this basically the story read how um, there was a prophet, right? And there was also other um, oracles, right? There were palm readers, um, tarot readers, and so forth, right? And as I'm, I'm listening, and I'm, I'm listening to her read the scripture, um, and then, and then she comes with giving her explanation of how she interpreted what they put in the Bible, right? So her explanation was um, basically um, someone the, I can't think of the name, but he prayed to God and he received um, a download in a dream, and he was able to provide it. <clears throat> Then she follows um, up within the scripture, sta stating that in the scripture it said, um, you know, you know, to um, a bomb. What is the word like to disregard us or to if you read cards or if you read um, astrology or if you read palm readings. Right. So then listen to me. I kept getting these downloads. Right. That I couldn't fully put my finger on. <clears throat> and I remember talking to this one young lady and I was kind of like getting close to her Well, she was getting close to me and I was allowing her to because of my heart space and I was going to help her with raising her vibrations and kind of getting her on a psychic level with me like I really anywho so she used to always come to me a lot with like astrology and oracle and oracle and in my spirit solely i just felt like those are for people who don't have that direct connection to source so they have to use astrology palm readings and all of these other things to read people so now i'm overstanding what the bible really meant and now i'm overstanding the 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 mis understanding of christians and what they are getting what they are reading in the bible so exactly what is going on in the bible y'all it is going on right now y'all don't remember when i kept telling you guys a lot of these readers should not be reading cards they just picking up cards reading cards they don't have a true connection they don't have that gift to be an oracle do you get what i'm trying to say you have to have the gift these things should be as well gift it to you this is how you're gonna know you have a gift let me tell y'all i never purchased a pendulum my uncle purchased my first pendulum for me myself he didn't even know what he was purchasing me my uncle theo y'all i cannot make this up my mom purchased all of my crystals i had over almost 200 crystals that i never purchased i have been gifted a moldavite crystal twice you guys i have been mind you moldavite is not a cheap crystal now I am understanding when I was at the beginning of spirituality, now spirituality has gotten very, very, very water, watered down. But at the beginning of my spirituality, I remember this one young lady when I used to try to do goddess baths. They used to try to say, oh, I can't do goddess baths because I wear, because at this time I used to wear weaves. I used to be a lot more into my makeup. You wouldn't even see me like like this. Oh, no, 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 no. I had to have that, all of that, right? So they used to, because they allowed those lower energies to play on them, they was preventing me from getting to who I was supposed to be a long time ago. Because they, I was, well, I was preventing myself by believing them and listening to them. They wasn't preventing 
shit. I prevented myself. Okay, we got to take accountability. Um, but here nor there, I'm kind of all over the place. These energies is kind of trying to get me, knock me off of all of these downloads that I'm getting. So back to what I was saying with the different oracles, right? And the fact that if you have not been gifted tarot cards, you should not be going out to buy them. You should not be. You're going to know that this is your calling because spirit is going to put it in your lap. Now I am understanding why I kept preaching. Uh, Y'all need to stop uh, picking up these cards and just trying to be a reader. And that ain't your lane. Now I understand why my spirit will get irritated. There's a few readers. It's two readers that some of people that come to me because I'm new, they compare me to these people. And I'm like, because I have that direct connection, I can see that these people are literally just reading cards. They don't have no direct connection to source and they shouldn't be doing this. That's why y'all gonna see a lot of these readers. I, I can't make it up. Spirit said they're gonna be going back to school. They're gonna be finding other outlets, finding other jobs because this was not their calling. They just picked up cards to make money off of y'all. I'm telling y'all, okay? Please listen. Not every freaking reader Reader that gets a car and can give you some information that relates to you should be doing this do y'all listen to what i'm saying okay if they ain't nose ain't itching energy fluctuating you, they're not connected do you get what i'm trying to say so anywho now i'm understanding in the bible the misconstrued of where christians is going with the no <sighs> I'm getting all y'all know I get I get hyped up. I feel the energies and spirit. I feel so much. So anywho, now it's all making sense. Okay. There is nothing wrong, you guys, with using your cards as a guide. It's only wrong when you picking up and you're going after it for a dollar and God has not called you to do this. You are gonna know when God has called you to pick up pick up these cards or whatever lane you are in, start doing Reiki removals, classes, whatever it is, you are going to know when you are called to do so. Do not force yourself into something because you see other people doing it and you are trying to make a dollar. You are going to have entity and energy attachments that you are. All right. All right. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. If you have not been gifted any type of divination tool, throw, it's time for you to give them away. I don't know who this is for, but if you went out and you purchased them and you have never been gifted the divination tool first, baby, now I'm understanding. I remember now back to my old school friend or associate that I had that I considered a friend when she used to tell me I couldn't do goddess baths because I wear fake weaves, right? She also used to tell me that my sage had to be, I remember she was like, oh no, you don't buy sage. It has to be gifted. No, the sage is fine. You can buy the sage. You can cleanse yourself. It's the oracle. It's the divining. It's the divination. When it's time for you to start divining for other people, spirit will align someone that is tapped in or have a connection to source to gift you with it. I cannot express this enough. My uncle gifted me with my first divination tool and he did not even know what he was gifting me. I had two people gift me Motivites. Not one person, but two people gift me Motivites. Okay, you guys, your calling is going to come. Your calling is going to come. Okay. Y'all, now I'm overstanding in the Bible. They are so misconstrued. No, it's just so many people picking up the cards. So many people going to read into astrology, which don't have a connection. If a person has to get your date of birth, your address, your, your phone number and all this other shit, they don't have a connection. I tell people come to me and they don't have to explain nothing to me. And I promise you, I'm going to pick up on your story. Y'all need to keep your third eye open. Keep your third eye open. Make sure you guys are being guided in the right light and taming the energies and entities on you guys. I literally had someone come to me, y'all, and tell me that at the beginning, they did not like me at all. Mind you, they don't know me from a can of paint. They thought that I was trying to use my traumas to gain a following. Yet I'm a healer. Yet I'm healing through my traumas. Yet I'm... It was my, but these lower energies will play on you and have you think it's something totally different. Not even knowing that now I'm, I helped heal this person. Now they like, thank you so much. You know, I, at first I wouldn't listen to anything you had to say, but I knew it was something different about you because something in my spirit wouldn't allow me to block you. We got to allow, we got to tame these demons because these demons will hold us up from something that is meant for us. Okay. 
that was the overall message, okay? When it comes to the Bible, when it comes to talking about oracles, they, they are talking about the fake oracles. They are talking about the ones who did not get uh, receive a gift from God. Because even in the Bible, he says that he went and prayed. And what did he get? He got a download through his dream. A download through his dream. And that's when he came back with the truth for that individual in the Bible. You get what I'm trying to say? People take these scriptures, they misconstrued it, and they turn it to what they want to turn it to. No, they trying to keep us from our higher selves, baby. They trying to keep us from our oracle selves, baby. We all have a light within us. We all do. But I need you guys to understand that you have to do this work to reach it you can't be out here just trying to go go after shit because we see everybody else going after the shit okay do y'all listen to what i'm saying i hope y'all hearing me i hope y'all listening to me your time is coming to heal the world your time is coming but you trying to skip a step baby spirit is saying you first got to heal you you first got to heal you before you're able to go out and heal the world you have to reach a certain level within healing yourself if not, we're just going to have a whole bunch of people that is not healed, that have not done this work, projecting energies and information that is falsified or that is recycled because they're not getting it from within because they're not doing the work from within. I hope y'all understanding what I'm saying. I tell y'all all the time, I'm the truth because of this healing. I'm the truth. Because of my heart space. Understand, I was going to say you could be the truth too. But I don't want you to be the truth. I want you to be something different. You're going to be great. I, only I can be the truth. No. <laughs> but you definitely are, are going to be great. And you can be grand too. You can be that goddess. But you first have to heal you. You already know what it is. As long as you move out of love. I'm talking that genuine. Heart shaking. Groundbreaking. World stopping love. You will always win. Peace.